Kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen, guys. Anyway, today we're making some lovely, lovely meat-free mints. Hopefully, guys, will like the recipe. Subscribe to the channel. It is corn and a lot of vegetarian. Love it. I used to eat it a lot, and I'm going back straight and certain things at the moment, guys. So, stay tuned and enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel. Get a copy of my cookbook on Amazon 50% off. Thank you so much, guys. Hopefully, we can come with best, better in the future. See you next time. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. So, anyway, today we want to make you some corn, right? Which is is a meat free mince. Um, basically, you can get this in the local shop or supermarket to buy. As I can see, meat free mince and it's corn. And a lot of people do use this as a vegetarian or if you're a person who doesn't want to eat meat. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but if you read the instruction behind here, the ingredients and everything, why it make from, it will tell you what we also in the information and the ingredients to read at the back of it. This you can get this in a local shop, supermarket, anywhere, high street to buy and it is cheap if you're a vegetarian and doesn't want to eat meat. Okay? Second thing, I got some spring onion, white onion and some garlic. This is some original tomato sauce. This is just basil and tomato inside of this, which we're going to use inside of it to give it some flavor. We got some mixed herb and we got some pepper and we got more stuff which we're going to add to it. This can share with pasta or with rice. It's up to you if you want to have it on its own. It's up to you if you want to have it with some veg or some lettuce, mixed leaf salad. It's up to you guys. So I'm going to show you how to cook this at home if you're a meat free person. So I got a medium sized fried pan on the stove at the moment. The next thing we need to do is just pop a little bit of olive oil in the frying pan like that. The frying pan is at the stove about 3 to 4 seconds. So put a little bit warm. Put in some oil, put in some garlic. Make sure the garlic salt take off in it first. Give it a flavor. Spring onion and white onion. If you want to put some chopped tomato, you can put some chopped tomato but that's fine for the time being. So we're going to saute this out for about 3 to 4 minutes and then we're going to add the mince. So we already fry off the mint, the, the, the veg. So basically what we need to do now is to add the mince, meat to it. Alright? Like this. Simple. But I'm not gonna use the whole bag, I'm just gonna use half of it. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to eat this, but to be honest, guys, this makes from a lot of veg. So we're just going to saute this out for about four minutes. Nice, and lovely. So as you can see, we about five minutes now since I've been sauteing out of it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of tomato sauce to it. Little bit of mixed herb. A little bit of pepper. Give it a stir for about four minutes. Nice. So as you can see, all the meat free maize look. So as I said before, you can serve with anything. That is beautiful guys, seriously. And really nice. So now this is finished. I've cooked this up for roughly about 7 to 8 minutes. We're going to share it out. If you want to have more liquid, you can add more tomato sauce to it. So we're going to share it out. Nice. 
nice and lovely so i just share it out look at that beautiful and really nice this is the meat free this is the meat free exactly what i'm talking about to you guys meat free means serve with some pasta you can serve it with rice whatever you like you can have it with so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel leave your comments thank you so much for watching the cooking show see you next time thank you so much for